Should you take a Shopify capital loan or not? Well, I've taken one and I'm going to tell you exactly what I like and don't like about it. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley and Crafted. And today I want to talk about Shopify capital loans and kind of my thoughts around uh, the couple that I have taken. Now, I will say before I get this video started, I am not a finance expert or anything like that. I'm not telling anybody to go out and get one of these loans. Uh, that's absolutely up to you and your situation. I am literally just talking about my situation and my thoughts on the two that I've taken from Shopify. And of course, whatever I say may lead to you uh, taking the loan or not taking the loan, but definitely look into it a little bit further, go through all their instructions and definitely talk to obviously a financial expert, uh, especially if you have an accountant or anything with your business, uh, they can definitely help you out a lot more than I can with where your finances are, what the best loan type would be for you, and of course, your loan amounts that you're going to be paying back. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me about this one, not just with Shopify, but capital in general. But the reason I wanted to bring up the Shopify one is because I do get that question a little bit more in general than just the capital loan topic, just because it is offered pretty much to anybody doing somewhat well on a Shopify website. And if you're unfamiliar with what Shopify capital is, it's basically a capital loan for your business that Shopify gives to you through their website. Uh, I don't believe it goes through any real credit checks or anything like that. Uh, they base it off of your sales that you're doing in your Shopify shop. So of course the amount could be anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars, depending on how well your shop is doing. Now, when I first started my shop, I didn't even pay attention to this one. I think it was probably, I don't know, maybe a month or so in, two months in, uh, when I was selling the supplies, I got an email from Shopify saying that I'd been pre-qualified for a Shopify loan for a certain amount and basically click over to see if you wanna take it. So when you get the offer, from Shopify. And like I said, it's anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to tens of thousands, depending on how well your shop is doing. I think the first one I got was for maybe a thousand or 1400 or something like that. And they offer three different levels of this one. They offer a base amount, which I think was maybe a thousand dollars. The second one was 1200 and the third one was 1400. And the difference between those is if you take the first one, a thousand dollars, uh, there's a few requirements in there and I'll go ahead and post them right here, but you basically pay back a certain percentage of your sales towards the capital loan. And I was looking it up and I believe the first one is 10% of your daily sales. The second one is 12 to 14%. And I believe the third one is 17%, which makes sense because they're offering you a little bit more money, but at a higher percentage rate so that you're going to pay it back a little quicker. Now, when the first one came through, I was just getting things started and I definitely took it. I think I went for the 17% one. It was like $1,400 and I believe I I put it towards just new equipment that was coming into the shop. And I knew the shop was doing well enough to where I knew it would pay it back with literally within a month or two. So it wasn't too much of a big deal. It came in very handy. I think they tack on maybe a couple hundred dollars uh, on top of the 1400. So in, you're going to borrow 1400, but you're going to be paying back like 15 or 16 or 1700 or whatever it was. I can't remember, which isn't too bad, depending on what you're doing and kind of what situation you're in. I know if you go through a standard bank and you get just a regular capital loan, you can get much, much better interest rates than what Shopify is offering on some of those. But the qualifications with those are definitely different. So with a regular capital loan, you're going to be doing a lot more. You're going to be dealing with the bank. You're going to be submitting uh, probably a couple months worth of bank statements to show them how much you're making, how much you can actually take out with the capital loan. And of course, the biggest difference between taking a Shopify loan and just a regular bank capital loan is going to be how much you pay back per month. Now, if you take take out a capital loan with a bank, you're going to be at a fixed amount. So if you take out $1,000, $10,000, you're going to be paying back whatever the amount they give you. So whether it's $100 a month or $500 a month, that amount is going to stay consistent month after month. So if you take out, let's say a $10,000 loan, you're going to be paying back $500 a month, no matter what your sales are. So if they're down one month, that $500 may hit you. But if you do really well one month, that $500 is easy. The difference with the Shopify capital loan is you're going to be paying back a percent of daily sales, which again, doesn't sound too bad. And I, of course, didn't think it was too bad with the two loans that I've taken from them. Uh, it was very easy to pay back. Uh, the second one, I believe, was a little bit more. And again, I put that money all towards new equipment, new supplies, basically stuff that I knew was going to help me make more money, which in turn paid off the loan even quicker. So of course, the 17% coming out daily is not a big deal. And they do take it out of your bank account if you have it connected through Shopify daily. So if you sell $100, they're taking out 17 and of course, so on and so on. 
So the loan amount that I took out with Shopify was very quick and easy. I think, like I said, I took out 1400 on the first one. Uh, I spent that on equipment and then I think it paid it off literally within two months. I think it was six weeks at the most, maybe eight weeks. Everything went through, paid it off. And of course, as soon as it came back, the sales were still doing really well. So they offered me even more. And I think it was around like 2,500 the second time. And of course, that's when I started to notice, I'd say if I was gonna have any con, on the Shopify capital loan, it would definitely be this. And that was the more money that I was making, obviously the more money that it was taking out. And again, it's 17% on that 2,500, but it's 17% of daily sales. And that's where I could kind of see if I went too big on a Shopify capital loan, where that money would start to, uh, not really hurt me or the business, but it's definitely an area where I think, depending on how much you're selling per month, that 17%, is definitely money that you could possibly use better uh, on your own throughout the business. And what I mean by that, if you bring in $1,000 on your website, 17% uh, of that is $170. So it's not a huge jump, but let's say that you're making around 30,000 a month, that 17% then becomes $5,100. And again, when you're making 30,000, 5,100 doesn't sound like a ton to take out. But one of the things that you definitely want to consider is when you do make that much money in a month, that 17% is counted against your sales and against shipping as well. And this is where I started to notice uh, a little bit more of a hit than I think I re really didn't want the risk taking if I was to take like a huge loan amount. So basically what that would break down to is if you actually made 30,000 in sales, and again, that's your items that you sold and shipping, that 17% is coming directly out of the 30,000. So you make 30,000, you instantly take away 5,100, and then you also have to take into account the shipping loss. And depending on what you're shipping, uh, I know for me, my shipping has been anywhere from a third of my sales all the way up to almost 40% sometimes uh, if I'm selling a lot of like really heavy cases of vessels. So if you run those calculations, that basically works out to you made 30,000, you instantly take away 5,100 from the 17% of the capital loan, and then you take away another third of that, which is going to be all shipping, which means you're left over with around 15,000 at the end of the month to take care of your business. And depending on what you do with your business, that could be a lot of money or that could be running very thin. So if you're renting a warehouse or a space for two to 3,000 and you've got two or three employees that you're paying an additional two, 3,000 uh, per employee or whatever you're paying them, you're basically getting rid of, your overhead is really then eating into that 15,000. So if you've got overhead that's kind of creeping into, up, I guess upwards of like the eight to $10,000 range, eight to $10,000 taken out of that 15,000 doesn't leave you with a whole lot of extra to then put towards other things like new supplies, obviously keeping uh, candle supplies, more oils, more waxes, more wicks. It definitely leaves it short on what you can reorder. And the reason I say that 17% really adds up with the higher amounts. And again, this is where the regular capital loan through a bank is definitely a better option. And this is where I say the capital loan through a bank is definitely a better option because in a situation like this, your monthly payment would only be uh, five, six, seven hundred dollars, depending on what your rates were. Whereas with the Shopify Capital Loan, you're paying fifty one hundred that month, and the difference between five hundred dollar payment and fifty one hundred dollar payment is huge, especially when you want to keep putting money back into the business. So, so that's where I really hesitated on some of the larger loans. I uh, knowing that fifty one hundred, knowing that basically five thousand dollars is going out. Uh, I do feel good that it would be paying off the loan, but at the same time, if it was only a $500 a month payment, I would also have an extra $4,500 to put towards other things, which I think I could better utilize that money per month. And again, even getting away from the $5,000, $30,000 a month, even going down to the $1,000 a month, people that are just starting out, you're making $1,000, $2,000 a month with your Shopify website. That's still a lot of money that you're losing right on top that you could be basically putting to better use. So if you had something, like I said in the beginning, a $1,400 loan, the payment on that is probably gonna be like 30 or 40 bucks. Whereas opposed to the Shopify one, uh, you're, you're basically losing 170 right off of the top of that. And then again, on top of shipping. So you're really, so you're really taking a little bit more of a hit than you really think you do. Uh, now, again, like I said, with the two that I took, they were somewhat small. 
they did pay off very fast. Uh, but jumping up to the higher amounts, I could definitely see where I may not want to do that and really start to search for kind of a better capital loan with better rates. But again, I am no financial expert. So uh, if anybody out there has used the capital loans uh, through Shopify or a bank, please let me know your thoughts on them. I know a lot of people have asked questions about the Shopify loan and a lot of people have actually used the loan. So please let me know your experience in the comment section down below. And if there are other loans that I have completely forgotten about, which I'm sure there are, again, please let me know in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next video.